Hi viewers, today in the channel segment Optics for Optometry Students, we are going to discuss on Minimum Angle of Resolution. Minimum Angle of Resolution is otherwise called MAR, M-A-R, MAR. Resolution means the ability of an optical instrument or type of film. In our case, it is the eye's ability to separate or distinguish small or closely adjacent images. This minimum angle of resolution is used in constructing visual acuity charts. The resolving power of the eye is 1 minute of an arc. Why it is 1 minute of an arc? Why not 2 or 3? It is because early astronomers found that it was possible to resolve two stars as separate if the distance between the stars subtended an angle of at least 1 minute of arc. If the angular separation between the two stars was less than one minute of arc, most people would see them as one star rather than two. So it was concluded that the minimum angle of separation between two points should be one minute of arc for the eye to see it as two points. Let us see this with an illustration. Take two points A and B separated by a distance. This distance is usually kept as infinity. In clinical situation, since we cannot test at actual infinity distance, 6 meter is taken as optical infinity. So this is the retina. The distance between the points and the retina is 6 meter. Usually in clinics, we keep the eye charts at 6 meter distance. Light rays comes from point A and B and falls on retina making an angle. The angle formed should be one minute of an arc to see these two points as separate. This one minute of an arc is called the minimum angle of resolution MAR. So the normal resolving power of the eye is defined as the ability to detect a gap with the angular separation of one minute of an arc. Now we know what is minimum angle of resolution. Let us learn how to use it in constructing a letter chart. Constructing a letter chart means first we have to design a letter. Let us take the letter E. E is supposed to be the best letter for letter charts because it has three black strokes and two white gaps. For the eye to see this letter clearly, the eye has to resolve the two gaps. Only then it will be seen as the letter E. Take two points A and B at the edge of the gaps. This is retina. Light rays from the two points reaches the retina forming an angle. Since the minimum angle of resolution is one minute of an arc, this angle should be one minute of an arc. We know that six meter is considered as optical infinity. We know the angle, but we cannot design the letter of the chart using this angle. We should know the linear distance to make this letter. So we should know the distance between the two points A and B. Let this distance be X. We have to find X. We know the angle. We know the distance between retina and the letter as 6 meter. So we can find the distance X using right angle triangle formula. I have given the triangle part separately. Now we know this is a right angle triangle. This is theta. So tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side which is x by 6. Tan theta is 1 minute. So tan 1 minute is equal to x by 6. Now x is equal to 6 into tan 1 minute. Tan 1 minute into 6 gives you 0 0.001746 meters. When you convert it into millimeter, you get the length of AB as 1.746 millimeter. We have found out the gap AB to be 1.746 mm. The black stroke and the white gaps are all same width. There are three black strokes and two white strokes. Totally there are five. So 5 into 1.746 mm will give you the height of the whole letter which is 8.73 mm. 
Now the height and the width of the letter are the same which is 8.73 mm. This is the dimension of 6 by 6 letter that is the smallest letter in the Snellen chart. One more thing to note, each gap and each stroke subtends one minute of an arc at the retina. There are totally 5 strokes. So the whole letter subtends 5 minute of an arc at the retina. This is Snellen chart. The height of the letter what we found in the previous slide is the height of this line which is 6 by 6 or 20 by 20. Similarly, we can find the height of all other letters in other lines. Now, how to specify visual acuity? Visual acuity is specified as the angular size of the gap for the smallest sized letter the patient can identify. If the patient can read up to this line, for example, then the visual acuity of his that patient is the angular size of the gap of this line. Normal visual acuity is the ability to detect a gap subtending one minute of an arc. That is, patient should be able to read this 6 by 6 line for him to have a normal visual acuity because the angular size of the gap in the letters subtends one minute of an arc. We have come to the end of the session today. If you want to know more about visual acuity and its classification, please watch my previous video on visual acuity. In the next video, we will be discussing in detail about Snell and Chart. To get my videos instantly, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.